Greetings, greetings, fellow grade 10s. It's Mr. Shadrayo again. Look, now what we are going to be examining basically today, we are going to be uh, looking at what we regard as our measurement, right? So, and basically now measurement is when we are looking at what, it's where we are going to be examining things such as uh, firstly the size, we are going to be examining the sizes of the shape, their length, right? Uh, the amount of something, right? So we are going to be looking at our amount of something, right? So these are some of the things that is going to be, uh, that we are going to be looking at when we are determining what measurements, isn't it so? So basically that is going to be that. And now we are saying uh, measurement, it is the study basically of shapes, right? It is going to be this, our study of our different shapes, right? Now, so basically that is going to be that. Now, let's see in terms of what else now are we going to do? So we are going to start by, you know, doing some brief revision uh, where we are examining some of our 2D shapes that we might have learned in our previous grade, right? Now, uh, so we are going to do uh, these through some uh, questions where we are reminding ourselves, right? Now, we, they are saying now find the area and the perimeter of what? Of uh, the shapes. Now, look. What is it that we are doing? Uh, we are dealing with here. Basically, here we are dealing with uh, what we are dealing with are uh, these particular shapes, which is, uh, firstly, your first shape is going to be your triangle, right? So the first shape is going to be your triangle. And what is it that we know about our triangle? Basically, this is not just any other triangle, but this is going to be what your uh, this is going to be your right angled triangle, right? So now let's start here. The first question requires us to find out what is going to be the area. So we are saying uh, area uh, for what area for our triangle is given by what? The area for our triangle is given by uh, half. Uh, then this is going to be length multiplied by breadth. Isn't it so? Right? Or rather, this is same as half length multiplied by height. So basically, that is going to be that not the breadth, but it's half length multiplied by height. Isn't it so? So that is going to be that particular thing, right? So which means these represent, uh, this represent our length, and this is going to represent our what? Our base. Others they say it is a base, right? So it's half base multiplied by height. So that is going to be basically your triangle. So now if you are looking for your area of this particular triangle, so this is going to be uh what you are going to do. This is going to be one uh over two multiplied by what? This is going to multiply by five. And this is going to be multiplied by uh, what? Our 12. So therefore, what is going to be the area? Now, the area that you are going to find, this is same as uh, 1 over 2. This is 1 over 2 multiplied by uh, multiply by 5. Multiply also by what? Multiply also by 12. Then this is going to give us 30, right? So this is going to give us 30. And whenever we are doing the area, area is always given by what? It's always given by squared. So this is going to be unit squared. In this case, it's going to be centimeter squared, right? So basically, that is going to be that. And now, when you are looking at our perimeter, what perimeter is? Basically, perimeter, it is the distances of all the sides, right? Now, uh, so we are saying uh, perimeter is going to be the distances of all these particular sides. So that is what uh, that is what is referred to as the perimeter, right? Now, in the perimeter of this particular triangle, therefore, it's going to be what? It's going to be 5 and then 12. But what is it that we are missing? We do not have this uh, side, the longer side, which is your hypotenuse, right? So we can still firstly apply the theorem of Pythagoras to find out what is going to be the perimeter of this particular line, right? Or, the, or rather, what is going to be the hypotenuse? So when we are doing that, this is going to be same as what? This is going to be same as uh, you what? Know, this is going to be same as uh, h squared, which is the hypotenuse, is going to be same as 5 squared plus what? Plus 12 squared. Uh, this is going to be what? This is going to be your pi theorem, right? So this is going to be the application of pi theorem. And therefore, this is going to be same as 25 plus 144. Uh, then we are going to look for the root of both sides, right? Uh, then that is going to be that. And what is 25? Uh, what is 25 plus one four four. This is going to give us one sixty nine, right? So which means when you say h is going to be the root of one sixty nine, and what is one sixty nine? Root of one sixty nine is going to be thirteen, right? Uh, uh, then now that is going to be your thirteen 
So which means this is going to be what? This is going to be 13 centimeters, right? So basically that is going to be that. And now that we are looking for a perimeter, so the perimeter is going to be all the sides. It's going to be this particular side, this particular side, and this 13 side that you've already found out, right? So this is going to be same as uh, 5 plus 12 plus 13, right? And then that is going to be the perimeter. So our perimeter in this case is going to be 5. We said it's going to be 5 plus 12. And then we said it's also going to be plus 13, right? And therefore, this is going to give us 30. So this is going to give us 30 centimeters. And then that is going to be our perimeter that we are going to be having. Isn't it so? Then now let's look at our B. So what is going to be the shape of our B? The shape of our B that we are given, we are given that this is going to be your rectangle, right? So now what is it that we do? Or what is it that we are going to do to find out now for your rectangle? So now for our rectangle, this is going to be same as what now? Uh, now, remember, if we are starting with our area, the area of our rectangle, then this one, the area is going to be length multiplied by breadth, right? That is going to be the area of your rectangle. So what is the length here? It's 5. Uh, rather, the, the length is 15 multiplied by what? Multiplied by 5. And what is going to be 15 multiplied by 5? Uh, when you say 15 multiplied by 5, the answer that you're going to get is 75, right? So this is going to be 75 centimeter squared, isn't it? So then that is going to be your area. And then now when we move to now our perimeter, now the perimeter, remember, it's the distance of all the sides, right? And which means we are saying now uh, the perimeter for this one is going to be this side plus this side plus this side and also plus this side. So it's going to be all these four sides, right? And then we are saying this represent your length and this represent your length. This represent your what? This represent your breadth and this represent your breadth, right? So which means the, the formula here is going to be what? It's going to be two length plus two breadth, right? Uh, plus two breadth, then that is going to be the formula. And then this is going to be same as two into your length, which is same as 15 plus, uh, then this is going to be two, which is also going to be into your five. And then what is going to be, this is same as 30 plus 10. And then therefore this is going to be same as 40 uh, centimeters, isn't it? So then that is going to be the perimeter that we are going to find out in here. Now, when we're looking at our C, what is it that you are going to do when we are looking at our C? Now, for our C, we are saying uh, that is going to be what your circle, right? And uh, as a reminder, we remember that now uh, the area for our circle is given by what? The area for our circle is given by 2 or rather by pi r squared, right? This is given by pi r squared. Now, that is the formula for your area. So, this is going to be pi uh, into what? This is going to pi into 3 all squared. Therefore, this is going to be same as what? Uh, this is equals to same as 9 pi. And then what is going to be that? This is going to be same as 9. Uh, let's see where is going to be our pi. When you say 9 shift pi, and then that is going to be given by what? Uh, the area is going to be given by 28, which means the area is going to be 28 point what? 28.27, right? So this is going to be 28.7 uh, centimeter, what centimeter squared. So that is going to be the area of our circle, right? And now... Uh, we are saying what is going to be now the uh, the perimeter. The perimeter for our circle is basically given by this formula. P, uh, the perimeter is 2 pi r, right? So that is going to be our, our perimeter, right? And this, we are saying the perimeter for our circle is known as what? As the circumference, right? This is known as the circumference. So that is something that you need to take note of, right? And then now what is going to be this? This is going to be same as 2 pi into what? Into 3, right? And then that is going to be that. Remember here, it's millimeter, not centimeter, right? So this is going to be same as 6 pi. And therefore, which means our perimeter that we are going to have here is same as what? The perimeter is going to be same as 18.85. This is same as 18.85 what? millimeters this is same as 18.85 millimeters which is going to be the perimeter of our uh, or rather the circumference of our circle right then that is going to be that now let's look at another our shape number d that we are given here so our shape number d that we are given here it is what uh, we are given our kite now let's look at our kite so in our kite firstly let's start here what is going to be uh now the formula firstly for calculating the area now the area of our kite basically it is given by what it is given by half 
multiply by what? Or rather half into uh, diagonal 1, right? Diagonal 1, the first diagonal. Uh, multiply by what? Multiply by the second diagonal. And probably uh, someone is asking in terms of what is the diagonals? Basically, diagonals are the lines that cut our shape into two equal halves, right? So which means it's going to be your D1 here and your D2 here, right? Which we are already given, by the way. So which means we are going to say uh, our area here is going to be 1 over 2 multiply by firstly into bracket. Let's open our brackets. This is going to our bracket. What is going to be uh, our first diagonal? The first diagonal that we are given is 34, right? And then uh, multiply by what? Multiply by 12. So that is going to be that. And then when you are doing that, this is same as 1 over 2. This is same as 1 over 2 into what? Uh, into 34 multiply by your 12, right? Which is what you are given here. And then this is going to be same as the area is going to be 204, what? A uh, millimeter squared. Remember, whenever we are looking for area, it's always going to be in squared, right? So that is going to be your area. Then now, uh, what is going to be uh, now, your last thing, which is going to be your perimeter. Remember, we said perimeter, it is the overall distance around that particular shape. So, which means now our perimeter here is going to be this side here. Let's say this is side one, this is side two, this is side three, and this is side four, right? So, which means we are saying our perimeter is going to be all the three added sides. So, now let's let's check in terms of what is going to be that. This is going to be same as what now? This is going to be same as... Uh, this first side and this other side are the same. So this is going to be same as what? 19 plus 19 plus 21 plus 21, right? So basically that is going to be our perimeter because our perimeter is given by what? The sum of all the four sides, sum of uh, four sides, right? So basically that is going to be our perimeter. Then therefore when you are doing that, this is same as 19 uh, plus 19. Uh, and then plus what? And plus 21, plus 21. So the overall perimeter is going to be given by 80, what? This is going to be given by 80 millimeters. This is going to be given by 80 millimeters squared. So that is going to be the overall perimeter of this particular shape. Hopefully this makes sense to you. This was just an icebreaker in uh, ourselves, reminding uh, ourselves when it comes to our 2D shapes. Hopefully this makes sense to you. And thank you very much.